something really exciting is about to ha happen. We're getting a really uh, exciting delivery in about 20 minutes and I don't know how to, I don't know how to act right now. I can't contain myself. I'm literally trembling. I'm shaking like a little leaf. <laughs> <laughs> Can any of you guys guess? I'm gonna give you like five seconds to guess from now. Don't cheat. Slash, the whole video is probably gonna be about it. Ah. Did it even better that time, come on. Yes, good boy. Come on. Oh. Oh. Yeah. What is it? Yes. What is it? Come on. Come on. Come on. Good boy. Good boy. This is your home. Good boy. Good boy. How are you feeling? He really likes that ball. I'm happy. <laughs> oh, look at him. Hello, Mr. Confidence. Good boy. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Hello, Papa. Who is this? Real quick movie of the month intermission here before we get back to introducing you guys to the doggo. So as you guys know, I am part of the Sky Cinema Club, which means I get exclusive early access to Sky Originals as well as blockbusters that Sky Cinema carry. And that also means that I get to share my favorites with you guys and also share reviews of maybe films that weren't really my thing, but you guys might love. This month, I'm gonna be watching a movie called Duel. It looks dark, but also really funny and very original. So I'm super excited to watch that. It looks very promising. I'm gonna get my laptop set up, maybe in bed tonight, I think. Stay tuned for the review, and then we will be getting back to meeting the doggo. Galaxy lights are on, you guys know what this means. I've made myself just a little vegan pasta. <laughs> The intro is giving me Hunger Games vibes with a twist and I'm already like sucked in. <laughs> it's giving dark, it's giving flat, dry humor, it's giving existential crisis. Guys, let's talk about Jewel. So Jewel is a film about a woman called Sarah who's been given a terminal diagnosis. So she agrees or asks to have a clone made of her to ease, I guess, the grieving side of things for her family and these clones are supposed to like spend time with you before you pass away and like get to know you so they can really imitate you well but then later on sarah finds out that she's not actually dying anymore she's actually made a full recovery which she thought she had no chance of and so it gets a little sticky with trying to figure out what to do with the clone situation i really enjoyed this movie this one was a sky original like it was super dark but there was still like funny moments, but it was really dry humor, which I personally love. So I said yesterday, like after watching the intro that the movie gave me Hunger Games vibes, but, and that was just the beginning of the movie. It's kind of not at all really like that. Yeah, I just found the plot really original, um, which is nice because I think that's really hard to come across these days. The movie also really has a lot of themes around like identity issues and anxieties that most everyday people go through. Um, you know, comparing yourself to other people or judging yourself or, you know, thinking like thing, like the grass is always greener about certain things that you could maybe be a bit better in some way or another. And I think having a clone could really project those or really exaggerate those feelings. So I found that really interesting. Yeah, I love how the movie kind of didn't go down the trajectory that I thought it would. I love that it didn't have um, a typical kind of Hollywood ending without giving away too much. And it kind of leaves you questioning, which I also really love in a movie because it kind of gives you the chance to make of it what you will, you know? I also was reading like other people's kind of reviews of it. And um, I read somewhere that somebody was saying how unnerving it is that we all have like a doppelganger. So somebody that looks pretty much identical to us somewhere out there in the world. Is that not wild? Like that's a real thing. I keep seeing it on TikTok actually, people finding their doppelganger on TikTok and then they'll like chat or meet up and it's just like 
crazy even down to like baby photos they look exactly the same and i just find that wild that somebody out there who isn't your twin you're not related in any way somebody who's completely different to you and has lived a completely different life to you is a spitting image of you i'd find it super interesting to see how many similarities and differences we'd have as like people in real life anyway going off topic but yeah would 100 percent recommend the movie if you guys are looking for something original to watch if you have like a dark dry sense of humor and you're looking for something that is gonna make you think a little bit then i would fully recommend this movie i'm gonna have to watch it again it's one of them ones <laughs> now back to more dog content and my birthday <laughs> what was that brunson come here good boy so guys there is someone i'd like you to meet he's a tired boy We've been doing a lot today, haven't we? Bubbies. <laughs> you work all schmoey. This is Bronson. Bronson Lino, my little chalky croissant, my chalky bee. Wait, I've got dribble marks from him on the lens. For those of you guys that don't know, this isn't my first rodeo. I lost my first dog, Pierre, just over a year ago, um, really suddenly. And I don't think I've been the same since. It definitely left a hole in my heart that I just couldn't fill obviously i'm in no way saying that bronson is a replacement for pj because nobody's ever going to be my little push push but he is an absolute angel yeah i've been wanting to get another dog go on bubbies i've been wanting to get another dog for a little while now i always knew that i would get another dog because once you've had a dog life just isn't the same without one there's been a few times where i've been looking and i had arranged to go and visit the dog as you do um and it just never felt right until now i saw bronson and i just knew that he was my dog <laughs> and i feel like i'm so emotional like why why am i upset <laughs> basically there was a picture for an as advertisement of bronson and he was with another dog so he's actually an identical twin which is insane i didn't even know i mean i don't know why it wouldn't but i didn't know that that was a thing um so i saw a picture of him and his brother and i was like that that that's my dog i got him on monday and it's friday now and he's settling in so well he's so smart he's such a funny character as well it's been amazing having life around the flat and yeah it's just been so good spending like the last few days with him i think we are equally as obsessed with each other i don't think there could have been better timing it's my birthday tomorrow as well so yeah he just couldn't have come a better time like i just can't believe that i've got him here it's crazy but there's so much about him that reminds me of pierre it's ridiculous and he's just fit into this household so so amazingly i feel like i've got purpose now i felt a little bit lost lately and yeah it's just it's so amazing having this little character like running around the house but yeah i'm so happy it's like the best birthday present i could have given myself <laughs> I just wanted to introduce him so that you don't randomly just see a dog running around in the back of the vlogs and think who the hell is that yeah i still miss pj dearly like i think about him every day my life hasn't been the same since but it feels a little bit more normal now that there is a little pooch running around I feel like I've had the most PG 31st birthday today. We've literally done nothing all day. We just had the loveliest dinner. Basically, we had to search a dog-friendly place because obviously Bronson has to be involved in the celebraciones. And now, I jokingly said, do you want a shot of tequila? <laughs> And now I'm being roped into actually doing a shot of tequila because it's my birthday. Only for like another half an hour. Do you know what? The worst thing is, right, it's actually nice tequila. It's Don Julio, so it's quite nice, but I don't think I can handle it, but we'll give it a go. Happy birthday. Thanks, cheers. Also, look at these sick shot glasses that we got. They're so cool. We don't have any lime. Three. Salt. Two. You don't need it with this. One. Okay. Dun, 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 dun. All right, it's back on the wines for me, babes. I'll link the place that we went to down below. It was so good. It was in Didsbury, Manchester. It's almost like a pub food, Japanese food fusion, which sounds like it just doesn't make sense, but it was so good. Hello. Hello, mister. 
can I help you, you little licky poo? Hello, my little licky poo. I want that one. Hello, my little licky poo. Hello, my little bouncy poo. Hello. You want some attention? Hello. <laughs> Got a little whispering angel going on, so I'm going to crack that open. I'm going to drink it. I'm going to have one glass because I'm 31 now, so you know, I can't really. I mean, I can drink people under the table, but I'm not going to be feeling it good tomorrow. We've got one day in between today and Monday, because Monday we're going Lake District. I'm so excited! I've never been, so better take it easy tonight. Uh, excuse <laughs> look at this dog. Not my wedding shoes. Not my wedding shoes, you little shit. <laughs> no, Bobbies. I just gave you a teething toy. Come on, please. I actually like these heels. So you... Better stay away. I know he's gonna climb in here as well. Happy birthday. Thank you. Oh, look at the glasses that you got me for Christmas. They're so pretty. Guys, if you haven't tried Whispering Angel Rose yet, it's not like super spenny. It is a bit more pricey, but it's really good. It's worth it. It's delicious. This is like the last half an hour of my birthday, so we shall love you and leave you 